Hi guys, welcome to IELTS Ninja. Are you looking for a video that will throw more light on the IELTS exam and its various modules? Well, you've reached the right video. But before we go into that, do subscribe to our channel. Well guys, let us understand what is IELTS general and what is IELTS academic. To be To make it very simple, IELTS General is the test that is given for people who are applying for their permanent residency or probably a work permit abroad. Whereas IELTS Academic is given by students who want to study abroad or in some rare occasions by medical professionals also. Because of the nature of the tasks that you're going to be doing post IELTS, this test, especially the general test, focuses on day-to-day -day situations whereas academic focuses on college scenarios. Let us come to the test itself and go module on module and analyze both the tests. First, let's start with the listening module. Okay. Both the general and the academic tests are same for the listening module. That is, they have four audios and you have to answer 10 questions per audio okay and in total this is going to be a 40 mark test whereas when we come to the reading module this is where the differences begin in reading general you have three sections okay so let us call it section A, B and C. Section A has two passages, a minimum of two passages, passages 1 and passage 2. Section B also has two passages. Section 3 has one passage. Okay. Now, passage 1 can be somewhere around 350 to 400 words, okay? Whereas, section C, the passages are, section B, it is going to be 450 to 500 words per passage. Section C is going to have like 800 to 1000 words per passage. Now, the types of passages themselves are also going to be different. In the general module, the scenario is going to be day-to-day -day experience, then focus on work-life scenarios. And the last section has a research-based article. Whereas when we come to academic, it also has three sections, A, B, and C, but all the three sections have one passage. The first uh, section A and B will have a passage that is around 700 to 800 words long. Whereas section C is going to have a passage that is longer, that is 800 to 1000 words long. Now, the scenario here is usually from academic research papers or campus life. Okay. Now, this is as far as reading is concerned. You will notice that in the general section, a lot of focus is placed on day-to-day -day situations and work-life patterns, whereas 
the academic paper concentrates on college or campus life and research-based articles. Now let us look at the writing section. For the general writing test, you have two parts, section A and section B. In section A, you're supposed to write a letter that is roughly around 150 words. In section B, you're supposed to write an essay. As in the academic test, also you have section A and B. The uh, section A, you're supposed to write a report of 150 words. In section B, you're supposed to write an essay of 250 words. The speaking test is going to be common for both. You will have three sections. The first section will be one-on-one uh, -on -one conversation. Section B is going to be the cue card round. And section C is going to be the discussion round. Now, this is as far as the test itself, the pattern of the test uh, for all the four sections. I have explained to you the difference between general and academic. It's so also one more difference. When it comes to scoring, the uh, general section has a more stringent norms for the reading and listening section, whereas the academics have a more lenient scorecard for the reading and listening section. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. For more such videos, do subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you can be updated with the latest notifications.